Hey guys, what's up? It's me, PK Cubed, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to teach you how to build a full adder in Logisim. So here's my Logisim window here. You can see right there. And I'm going to title this um, file save as, and I'll just call it Logisim. I'll put it in my desktop. Logisim. Um, I'll just call it adder. So now we have our adder, and this is the main circuit. So, as you can see, I have got my adder, uh, my full adder schematic here. So the first thing we need to do is add some inputs. So we've got A, B, and C, which is the carry input. So we'll add some pins from right here, after the select and the text tool, just right after those. And we can see it's a pin, and it is not an output. So we'll just add that right here, right here, so A, B, and then carry in, I'll move that right there. So let me just label these. A, B, and C. Here we go. So A, B, and C. Now the next thing we need to do is, you can see, I believe that's an XOR gate. Yes, XOR gate. So we need an XOR gate right there. And then uh, it only needs to... Um, two inputs that'll work and then we need to connect B and A to it so I'll connect B and I'll connect A there we go so now we have A and B connected to this um, XOR gate now I'll just trail across the top so we need another XOR gate um, here's, here's one and we can connect it right about there, and it only needs two as well. So I can click on number of inputs and connect this XOR gate to this XOR gate. And then we can get an output pin, put it right there, and label that sum. And now we can, let's, let's connect up our AND gate right here. So grab an AND gate, put it right here, and let's uh, let's connect our A, so it looks like the A connects to the, the top of the AND gate, and by the way, we only need two on this one as well. So connect up the top of our AND gate, or the top of the top of the AND gate to the A pin, and then B connects to the bottom of the AND gate, like this, and yeah, that should work. And then we can connect up C to our second XOR gate right there. And now we need another AND gate right here and a OR gate. Let's grab the AND gate. And it looks like this AND gate goes, well, we can put it right here because it connects to the carry. We'll put it right next to this XOR gate. It connects to the carry, um, the carry input right here. So... I'll just bring that in and make sure this is on two as well. Looks like these are these are all on two. So then we can connect this one up to the output of the first XOR gate. Now we can connect up our OR gate right here and wire it up and make oh that that'll work. Make sure it's a two as well. And then we can connect it up to this AND gate and now we can add a pin for our carry out so just label it carry out here we go um, it's kind of off the screen um, I can just zoom out a bit sure so we've got our carry in A and B sum and carry out so let's see if this works so if we grab our poker tool we can let's say add one Looks like the sum is one. That's good. Add one plus one. We get a carry out. That's exactly what we're looking for. Now if we add all of them, yes, we get a sum and a carry out. That is exactly what the what the um, full adder should do. So now, in my next video, I'll show you how to daisy chain these together and make a 8-bit adder. Stay tuned. 